Good evening, teams. How are you tonight? Well, let me answer that. You're likely to still be a bit anxious, maybe feeling a bit unnerved, and for lack of a better phrase, knackered. Well, no wonder. This March will be the highest prescription month ever recorded in the history of the NHS in Scotland, and you have delivered that. Remarkable is the only word I have, and I say, as I said on social media, the CPS team are proud to be supporting you in any way we can. And I am humbled by the lengths you are going to to maintain the core functions for the public through your pharmacy teams. What is not OK is the reports of abusive and threatening behaviour that a growing number of you are receiving in your pharmacies. I have spoken to Rosemary Parr, Chief Pharmaceutical Officer, and our Scottish Government partners regarding this. And I can assure you that this is being listened to and taken seriously at the highest level. Communication messages have been drafted UK-wide on this issue and were being implemented in an attempt to prevent it. We continue to engage the media to highlight the need for kindness and understanding for you all at this time. I don't know if you noticed last night that the Scottish Chief Medical Officer message, which had been widely shared on media platforms, including TV, now expressly states community pharmacy. The importance of this message for patients who show signs of potential COVID-19 to stay away is hugely important. This has been one of the major concerns for pharmacy teams and we are pleased to see, through our collective efforts, that this has been recognised by the Scottish Government. To build on this, I learned this afternoon that you should start to receive your PPE equipment that's 200 pairs of gloves and a roll of 200 aprons for the purposes of deep cleaning towards the middle end of next week. As we reported earlier, the policy decision has now changed from Monday. It's now to sort out the logistics for you. Next, can I share with you progress on getting the pharmacy family cavalry to support you in your efforts? We have two areas to update you on. Health board colleagues, have been hard at work considering how to get members of their employed staff to support the network. We understand some boards have already been able to release a proportion of their workforce already. Encouraging news from all our indemnity providers could help facilitate further movement here. Final year students from Strathclyde become available after the 1st of May and other years follow quickly from then. We'll get in touch with Robert Gordons for an update and hopefully this shows that we are all trying to collaborate to support you. Think of it as the reinforcements are on the horizon. They're just not quite here yet. We also understand there to be an untapped volunteer workforce out there that is willing to support pharmacies in all manner of ways. We are still investigating how best to engage with this community, but I would say that if they present to you individually now, I would encourage you to consider how best to deploy them. In the here and now with your teams, please consider pragmatic steps you can take to maintain as much of a service as you can. The regulator has allowed for a flexible approach to be taken in these extremely challenging times. We always acknowledge, even in normal times, that the whole team is vital. So many of you have illustrated how your teams are going above and beyond over the last week. We might have to think differently about our staffing over the coming weeks, and I'll return to that over the weekend. I told you earlier in the week about the change to the mass service so it can be offered to anyone. This will be effective from Monday the 23rd, and a circular will be released on Monday morning by Scottish Government colleagues, which will outline the changes. The circular will also offer more of the thinking behind this change which should allow consistent service that's appropriate for patients. Now, I can understand if you're thinking, Harry, what are CPS playing at, asking us to do this at this time? We had a difficult and taxing dilemma to answer here and concluded that those type of patients are going to be presenting in your pharmacy anyway. We are attempting to give you a tool that allows you to treat them legally on the NHS. There are some efficiency benefits the way it's done, 
and I'm sure that will be explained in the circular. The CPS executive continues to liaise with Rosemary, CPO and her team in daily teleconferences on your behalf. Issues such as testing, key worker status, which we have been assured includes NHS community pharmacy team workers and pharmacy finance are still on the agenda and being worked through as quickly as we possibly can. Rosemary will be commuting, communicating with you all via a CPO letter when more details emerge next week. CPS will be delivering a weekend service this weekend and for the foreseeable future to make sure we are there for you as much as we can. If we can be of help, please get in touch. And if we don't answer first time, it's probably because we're on the call with someone else. But please don't worry, we'll do our best to get to you. Please also be aware that the inquiries box on the website is also an option for you and will be answered when we can over the weekend. I would just like to really finish by urging all of you, please if you can, to look after yourself, mentally and physically, and if you can, use this time over the weekend to recharge. Try to focus on friends and family, particularly the mums this Sunday, but with all the social distancing policies accepted, and enjoy what I hope is a well-deserved rest for you. I also know there will be pharmacy colleagues who will be on the front line as well this weekend, during the out-of-hours period, and I know there's also those of you going in to receive orders and get ready for next week over Saturday and Sunday. A heartfelt thank you to you all. As I say, and if you've worked with me before, extraordinary people deliver extraordinary things. And that's how the CPS view your efforts and everyone in the pharmacies at the minute. If I could, could I ask you one favour? If you use social media, could you post and share these videos so they get as much so that you get as much up to date information as we can directly to the front line. We are trying to do our bit for you through these updates, but it is you and your teams who are the real stars of today. So Matt will be back to speak to you tomorrow and I'll catch you again on Sunday night. All the best. <laughs>